Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, we will discuss in this video the most important ideas that we, uh, we have made last week. The last week we have uh, discussed how to solve equations of two unknowns by using quadratic equations uh, like this example. If we ask you here in this example to find x and y, so you need to create two equations. One came from parameter and the second from Pythagoras theorem and easily we can get uh, two equations x plus y equals 7 x y equals 12 so the sum is 7 and the product is 12 and we can just write quadratic equations as phi s and b we get x1 and x2 and we solve it. the second lecture study the existence of the roots according to a real parameter m uh, for example in this exercise if we have this quadratic equation if you observe a, B, and C are in terms of M. So if he asked you calculate M, it means to find the values of M that satisfy this condition. The roots exist. It means delta positive. So just write delta, calculate delta, and say that delta greater or equal to 0. So we can get M greater or equal to minus 5. If he asked you about uh, another condition, the, if the roots are opposite, I'll just write the sum equal to zero and if the roots are reciprocal so the product equal to one you can just memorize it easily in chapter three we have studied the sign of quadratic equations we factorized first uh, the quadratic uh, polynomial which is in this form just get x1 and x2 and then write it in that way Study the sign of quadratic polynomial. If delta is negative, so the sign of f and the sign of a are the same. If delta equal to zero, we just write table of variation like this, and we write sign of a and sign of a here. If it's positive, we write positive, positive. If a is negative, we write negative, negative. And if delta positive, then we draw table of variation like that. And if, uh, if A is positive, we write positive, positive, negative in the middle. And if A is negative, we write negative, negative, and positive in the middle. How to solve inequalities using the second degree? <coughs> if you ask you, for example, how to find the uh, set of values of X that satisfy this condition, and yani the trinomial here, or the polynomial, or the quadratic, function greater or equal to zero so we find the roots first and we draw the table of variation and we say that uh, it is positive here in the middle so it means between half and one when x is between half and one and just write the answer in that way and write s equal half one closed at one and at half since he said greater or equal to zero this was everything thank you so much